Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy. It was a beautiful morning in Toyland. Noddy was looking forward to a busy day, driving passengers to and fro in his little car. Good morning, car. Milko. Milko. Morning, Mr Milko. Isn't it a lovely day? It may be a lovely day for you, Noddy. It's a sad one for me. A sad day? I've lost my special watch. The one the dairy gave me for delivering milk every day for years and years. Oh, dear. Well, I shall look for your watch wherever I go. Oh, thank you. If anyone finds it, I shall give them a reward of sixpence. Then I shall look very hard. Would you like to ring my bell? That always cheers you up. <laughs> Thank you, Noddy. That's really cheered me up. <laughs> oh, where is he? Where is that taxi? Ah, oh, taxi! Oh, good morning, Pink Cat. Where would you like to go? Take me to the station, driver. My name's Noddy. How much do you charge, driver? Every journey is six months. Will you put your tail inside the car, please? Oh, all Oof. right. But do start or I shall miss my train. <laughs> oh, do please put your tail back. It's my tail and I shall do what I like with it. I wish cats would look after their tails. I would if I had a tail. <laughs> All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> Just in time. Oh, no. My tail's gone. It must have fallen out of your car. I told you not to leave it hanging around. <gasps> and now I feel so giddy. <laughs> quick, quick! You'll miss your train. Uh, can I have my fare, please? Your fare? Your fare? I'm not paying you money. You owe me money. Sixpence for a new tail. And if you don't pay me sixpence, I shall report you to Mr. Plot, the policeman. Good morning. But it's not a good morning after all. Instead of earning money, I owe the pink cat sixpence for a new tail. Good morning, Noddy. Can you take me into town, please? I've got to open my market stall. Yes, I'll take you. Oh, but you'll have to pay me sixpence. Oh, yes, of course. Will you strap my bag onto the back of your car? I haven't got a strap, but we'll balance it and watch it very carefully. Good morning, Dinodol. <laughs> it's a beautiful car, Noddy, but it doesn't go very fast. It can go faster. Then please make it faster. I don't want to be late. Faster, please, faster. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my car does go quite fast. Oh, your bag! It's gone! Oh, Noddy, that really is very careless. My special blue purse is in that bag. I'll look for it. You'll have to. I can't pay you your sixpence, you know. In fact, if you don't find my bag, you'll have to pay me sixpence. Oh, dear. That's the second passenger who hasn't paid me anything. Now I owe Dinah doll sixpence as well. I really must find that bag and Pink Cat's tail. I can't find the bag or the tail. 
I need a friend to help me. Hello, Noddy. Why are you crawling along the road? Have you forgotten how to walk? Oh, Big Ears, you're my friend. Yeah, I know that. I've had two passengers, but they haven't paid me any sixpences. And I've lost a bag and a fluffy tail, so I've got to pay them sixpences. What shall I do? Hmm. Let me think. Um, <laughs> when you've lost something and you can't find it, that usually means someone else has found it. So we must go back to town and look out for someone with a new bag or a fluffy tail. Oh, yes. Let's go now. Or have you thought of any more? Nope. That's a lot. Oh, hello, Dinodol. You're looking smart, Martha. Yeah, I know. It's my beautiful new pink scarf. Where did you get it? Oh, it, uh, it just came my way. You're lucky. You've got a new scarf, but I've lost my bag. How silly of you. <laughs> Bye! Is... Is that the one? Yes. That's Pink Cat's tail. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy wearing it as a scarf. Martha Monkey, that is not your scarf. Yes, it is. I, uh, I found it. That is Pink Cat's tail. <gasps> then she shouldn't leave it lying around. <laughs> if you don't give it back, she'll scratch you with her sharp claws. Uh, w will she? And she'll hiss at you. Yes, that's just the sort of horrid thing she'd do. Anyway, it's much too warm to wear a scarf. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. <sighs> now to find Dinah Doll's bag. We must look very carefully around. Oh, yeah, Mr Sparks. <laughs> I'm going on holiday <laughs> with my beautiful new bag, yeah. Lots of people go on holiday with bags like this, so uh, I thought I would too. The only thing is, uh, I don't know how to open the bag. Please. Allow me. Oh! I thought so. Dinah Doll's special blue purse. Ah! <laughs> that clockwork mouse, he's always taking things that don't belong to him. Look, he's dropped something else. <laughs> A watch. A watch? The milkman's lost his watch. What time does it say? Um, uh, <laughs> six o'clock. Why? That's the very time Mr. Milko starts his round. It must be his watch. I'll give it back to him first thing tomorrow. But now I can give Dinah Doll her bag and Pink Cat her tail. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. Milko. Milko. Good morning. No, it's not. But it is. Yesterday, I lost Dinah Doll's bag and Pink Cat's tail, but Big Ears and I found them again, and they were so pleased. They each gave me two sixpences. So today, we're going to have a huge tea party. Oh, good. And we found something else. Oh, my watch. Oh, Noddy, you are clever. <laughs> I shall give you two sixpences as well. Oh, we shall have an enormous tea party. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'd love to ring your little bell. All right, Mr Milko. <laughs> Carry on. It had been a busy day in Toyland. Noddy was looking forward to his tea. If there's one thing I like, it's a boiled egg. If there are two things I like, they'd both be boiled eggs. I say... Hello, Noddy. It's me, Sly the Goblin. Don't walk straight in like that. Please use the knocker on the door. All right. That's far too loud. I already knew you were there. What do you want? I want you to take me to a party tonight. In the dark wood. I don't know that I want to. I'll give you a bag of sixpences. Sixpences? A bag of sixpences? If you bring me home again, I'll give you two bags of sixpences. Two 
that of sixpences. I shall be rich. Yes, I'll take you. It's a bit dark. I wish I hadn't come. I don't really want to be rich. Where's this party of yours? <laughs> don't make that silly noise. You can stop here. Where are the voices and the music? Where is the party? <laughs> Hello, Noddy. Yours the party. Gobbo, is it your party? That is right. <laughs> Get out of your car. When do we start dancing? No, we won't start dancing. In fact, this party is a trick. What sort of trick? We want to use your car for ourselves. You bad, wicked goblins. That's stealing. We're only borrowing your car. It's the only way we can have a ride. Goblins aren't allowed to have cars. I should think not if this is how you behave. I like your hat, Noddy. <laughs> I think I'll borrow that as well. No, not my hat. Leave me my hat. <laughs> Move over, slime. I want to drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, help. Help. I shouldn't have come to the dark wood. I'd really hate to be rich. If I wasn't so cross, I should cry. Nobody who can help me. I'm all alone and lost. Where am I? I know this house. It's Big Ears house. Who's there? Big Ears. Oh, Big Ears. It's Noddy. Please come and let me in. <sighs> what a terrible tale. Oh, there, Noddy. A nice mug of cocoa. Big ears, you're so kind. You've had a shock. You must sit under that blanket till you feel better. Thank you. Those goblins. I am shocked, Noddy. Shocked. Then you must sit under a blanket till you feel better. No, I'm too angry. I shall go to see Mr. Plod, the policeman. He'll try to get back your car and your hat. I shall cycle into town right away and tell him what's happened. You must be careful. <laughs> there won't be anyone awake at this time of night. Dear me, what is that awful noise? <laughs> Oh, 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 it's you, pumpy dog. <laughs> Got you, my lad. I'll take you back home to Tessie Bear first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Funny place to have a rest, Mr. Plod. I'm not having a rest. I'm arresting this dog. Ah, you should arrest the goblins. They've stolen Noddy's car and his hat. Where did this happen? In the dark wood. I'll help you find them. Thank you. And this dog had better come and help. No sign of the goblins, Mr. Plod. Nope. And that dog's run off again. Oh! oh. Do calm down, puppy dog. <laughs> he, he wants to play. Here, catch this stick. Perhaps we should have um have a rest mm. and make a plan. Mm. No. What plan shall we make? What's that noise? Oh, is it that silly dog again? Odd. Oh, I don't think there was a bell on that stick. That's Noddy's bell on Noddy's hat. <laughs> what a splendid dog. <laughs> He's found Noddy's hat. So, that's our plan. <laughs> Bumpy Dog can show us where he found the hat. 
They must have dropped the hat just here. Those goblins are asleep. Yes. In the hollow tree. <laughs> now, we must all be very <clears throat> quiet. Who's out there? Ah! We've been found. Come on, Sly. Come back here, you two. Ooh. Oh, dear. Come on, big ears. We'll have to find them in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Oh, oh, oh. Well done, Bumpy Dog. If you caught them, well, I helped as well, you know. It must be morning. But Big Ears isn't home yet. And I still haven't got my hat or my car. My car! Oh, my car! <laughs> Good morning, Noddy. <laughs> We found your car. Oh, Big Ears, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you should thank Bumpy Dog. <laughs> oh, Bumpy Dog. Oh, thank you. What a good dog you are. Well, I'll be taking these goblins off for a good talking to. Come along, Bumpy oh. Dog. <laughs> Ow. 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 Well, Noddy. <laughs> Would you like breakfast? <laughs> we could have uh, a boiled egg. Thank you, Big Ears. Perhaps we could have two boiled eggs. It was going to be another busy day for Noddy, driving his car round Toyland. He'd had a big breakfast to give him lots of strength. I really should like to eat this last piece of toast. But if I do, I might be so strong I'd pull the steering wheel off my car. And then who knows where we'd go? That sounds like Bert Monkey. I'll need lots of strength to deal with him. Come in. Don't break the door down. Hello, Bert Monkey. What do you want? Oh, good morning, Noddy. <laughs> I, I want your help. Well, you could help me by looking after your tail. Make it put the lid back on my teapot. Oh, sorry, Noddy. I'll put it in my pocket. I went to see my grandma yesterday and the trouble is... She gave me a pencil box. Why is that a trouble? Well, it hadn't got a rubber in it and I really wanted one. But it's your tail again. Here, I want that toast. Tail? Give it back. Hmm. I don't think I do want it now your tail's been messing with it. It was my tail that got me a rubber. It found a really big one at my grandma's and slipped it in my pocket. But, Noddy, it, it, it's a magic rubber. How's it magic? Well, it, it, it can rub out anything. It, it could rub a hole in your carpet. It could even rub out your teapot. Then don't bring it in here, thank you very much. You must give it back to your grandma. I oh, know. I can't. I've already sold the pencil box to Sam Skittle. Oh, I'll give you anything if you'd help me get the rubber back. But, but not my hat. That rubber sounds dangerous. We must find Sam Skittle. Oh, yes, please. But, but, but all, all the Skittles are going to the seaside today. We must catch them before their train leaves the station. Then we must go straight away. Uh, put my marmalade back, please. <laughs> there they are. Stop it, Tail. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
lucky I only hit the Skittles. The Skittle family simply love being knocked over. Thanks, Noddy. That was good fun. Oh, uh, he hello, Sam. Hello, Bert. Um, S Sam, I, I need that pencil box. Uh, I'll give you back the money you paid. Oh, that's all right. I've no time for drawing today. Um, have, have you used the rubber? Oh, I've got lots of rubbers. I gave it to Clockwork Mouse. Oh, dear. Where will we find Clockwork Mouse? It's market day today. I expect he'll be there. Clockwork Mouse! Clockwork Mouse! Ah! At least that tail is some use. Clockwork Mouse, have you got the rubber Sam Skittle gave you? I might. Or I might not. It's very important that Bert Monkey has it. Would you give it back, please? I might. That's not very helpful. If you give me a free ride in your car, I might give it to you. Oh, very well. Get in, then. Please give us the rubber. No, I won't. Why not? I ain't got it. It kept falling through holes in me pockets. I, I expect it had rubbed out those holes. Don't be silly. You'd need a magic rubber to do that. Bumpy Dog picked it up and ran off with it. Oh, no. We'll have to find him now. <sighs> Come on, Bert. He's usually with Tessie Bert. Ha, <laughs> I say Bert Monkey. <laughs> You've got a very silly tail. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dino Doll. Have you seen Tessie Bear and Bumpy Dog? They were here, but they've gone now. Oh, dear. Do you know where they've gone? To the cafe, I think, for ice creams. Thank you. We must hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tail. I do hope Master Tubby and Bumpy will look after your house. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tessie, where's Bumpy Dog? He's at Mrs. Tubby Bear's house. Oh, no! no. He's playing with Master Tubby whilst I'm out shopping. They were having a fine time throwing a rubber about. That's Bert's rubber. We've been looking for it everywhere. Oh, then you must go and fetch it. Thank you, Mrs. Tubby Bear. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. It's, it's very kind, but uh, I haven't time to stop for an ice cream. <laughs> Do hope Bumpy Dog's still here. Oh, yes. He's still here. Ow! This door won't open. What's going on in there? Ooh, let's look through the window. Oh, dear. Bumpy Dog must have knocked that chair over. It's blocking the front door. Oh, look. <laughs> Master Tubby's playing with the magic rubber. <laughs> Tubby, stop using that rubber. No, I won't. I like it. It's mine. But my dog gave it to me. But he didn't know it was magic. Ooh, magic? Is it? Stop it, Tubby. Bumpy dog, try and grab that rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Away, Bumpy Dog, or I'll rub you out. Look, Bert, Master Tubby's rubbing out the chair that's blocking the front door. <laughs> Come on, we can get in now. <laughs> that's my rubber. You, you, you must give it to me. No, shan't. Oh, my <laughs> tail. Oh, good. That's one thing he can rub out. 
You you shan't have my magic rubber. Oh, oh, oh. At last. Now then, what shall I rub out first? Your nose or your mouth? No. No. Leave me alone. Oh, oh, oh thank you, Noddy. Oh, I'm so glad we found that rubber. You have a nice rest, Bert, while I tidy up. Although I don't know what Mrs Tubby Bear will say when she sees all the holes in her house. I know. <laughs> I can ask my grandma for a comeback spell. I'll be very quick. <laughs> you must be very, very quick, Bert. I will be. You mustn't let that tail slow you down. Oh, I won't. Haven't you noticed? My tail's suddenly been very good indeed. <laughs> I'm pleased I had that extra piece of toast at breakfast. It made me strong enough to deal with all this excitement. <laughs> <laughs>